Welcome back to the Body Project Podcast. I'm your host, Katherine Tanaka, fitness, nutrition, and accountability coach, and the host and producer of this podcast, the Body Project Podcast. Today, we are wrapping up the three-part series where I've been interviewing my friend and fellow entrepreneur, Edwin Frondozo, the founder and um, tech genius behind Slingshot VoIP. He's going to share a little bit about his upcoming launch of his own 100 day program. But I wanted to step back and talk about my upcoming 100 day program and what really is available for people if they take this on for themselves. So I often talk about the magic that happens inside my program in the context of the 100 day. So I didn't want to talk too much about that today. I just wanted to kind of step back and get you to ask the questions for yourself about seeing what would committing to yourself for 100 days give you access to, right? We often talk about commitment and finding our goals and New Year's resolutions. And in the fitness context, you know, it's a big conversation as you know, right? However, I believe that as a trainer, as you know, a transformation coach or whatever you want to call me, looking at the mindset piece around how can we move the needle forward for people that are the needle forward for people that is in a sustainable way, in a way that can be consistent and forward moving always, that isn't feeling forced, right? One of the things I'm going to speak about with Edwin today is we know anybody can jump on a bandwagon for two to three weeks, right? Anyone can go on, you know, one of my clients was talking about the cabbage diet that she used to do with her mom when she was a kid, right? The cabbage diet. Anyone can do a cabbage diet for two to three weeks. Anyone can do no sugar for two to three weeks. Anyone can jump on some extreme workout regime, some extreme diet regime, some extreme business regime, whatever it is, right, that you're taking on for your life. But is that serving you? Is this on and off, on and off again, system working to better your life? Does it actually create sustainable lasting results? What I have found in the past, when I used to run my 28 day protocol, it was phenomenal. People would get tremendous results, right? People would lose 10, 15, 20 pounds in 28 days. Like that's a lot of weight, right? Because people were in it to win it. And I love when people are committed and I love when people are focused. But what I found was that people would then fall off the following week after finishing the 28 days, or they would be able to sustain it for a little bit, and then they would regress back. And what I learned over time is that people just kept coming back to the 28 day program, get phenomenal results again, leave, fall off. And so one of the things that I've been learning with really diving into mindset the last three years of the Body Project podcast, really diving into mindset with my own practices in my self-development and in my entrepreneurial journey, and really diving into mindset now that I'm in the midst of completing my CBT meets fitness certification, is that mindset is this anchoring point that allows us to completely transition from this yo-yo up and down to completely allowing mastery to infiltrate your life. And so with mastery, it cre- it, you need a time container, right? You need strategies, you need consistency, you need support, you need a system that will break through just that little practice that will create a habit that will layer upon each other to really allow this to be a lifestyle. And that's what I teach my clients to do. You know, there was a great analogy by somebody that I know that was talking about the compound effect, right? And this is the one of the things that we talk about often on the Body Project podcast that I talk about with my clients and why people use me as a trainer, right? I mean, 
I'm so grateful for all my clients, but oftentimes people know what to do for their workouts and people know what to do with their nutrition. What I do for people is support and accountability, make sure they show up. People often tell me my clients that I train one-on-one say, Catherine, if you weren't here, I wouldn't show up. It's because I'm committed to being here and I don't want to disappoint our appointment time that I actually do the work, right? And so the flip side to that is people are able to do it for a short amount of time, right? Everyone, you know, whether it's like some keto diet, cut out carbs, whatever it is, people like jump on and they get focused and then they get frustrated, right? They wait a week, a two, and then they get frustrated to the results. And this is the analogy. It's like putting a stick of butter in the oven, right? A stick of butter in the microwave. You need to melt it to make something. You put the stick of butter in the microwave for two minutes and you're wanting and waiting it to melt, right? You're going to make, you know, banana bread, you need melted butter. I don't know if you use melted butter for banana bread, but you stick it in and you press start and you're waiting and you're waiting and it doesn't look like anything is happening. You stop it at 30 seconds. You're like, it's still not melted. What is going on? Right. And then you make the decision that perhaps the butter is busted, right? This is like a messed up butter. It must be bad. It's not melting at the set point that it's supposed to. However, what happens is heat accumulates, right? There is the compound effect, right? It's just like fitness. It is just like nutrition. If you do something for a short amount of time, you may not get results right away, but it's the compound effect of that heat time time, right? With that butter in the microwave, all of a sudden it goes from solid to liquid like this, right? That's kind of like the journey of mindset. It's kind of like the journey of nutrition. That's kind of like the journey of fat loss and fitness, right? You can go in the gym and be doing the thing, doing the resistance workouts, lifting heavy, doing the, you know, squats, whatever it is. And you're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm just not getting stronger. But all of a sudden that daily practice of showing up for yourself, all of a sudden you're PRing, right? You're like doing your best lifts, right? All of a sudden you have the stamina. All of a sudden you're like, ooh, I'm feeling tighter. All of a sudden you're stronger. All of a sudden you're faster. There is a cumulative effect to it all, right? Same with the nutrition, my program. People are like, okay, okay, I'm doing it again. We're still not doing any sugar. We're still trying to, you know, we're adding in the hydration. We're adding in this good nutrition. We're adding in this nutrients and adding in these vitamins, adding in, adding in. They're like, but Catherine, when is it going to happen? All of a sudden there's this set point that your body is like, okay, we are nourishing our bodies well enough. We're getting enough calories because a lot of us juicy women don't, right? Stunts our metabolism, our metabolism saying, okay, it's actually safe to release some of this body weight. And all of a sudden you get leaner, right? All of a sudden the count compound effect, the side effect of introducing fitness in a way that's going to support you and not stimulate your cortisol and your stress hormones and your your body. All of a sudden, when you introduce good nutrients, adding in things to make you feel energized, feel grounded, feel incredible, feel not inflamed, feel not bloated in your body. All of a sudden your body's like, oh, I don't need to hold on to this extra body weight. It's not about being thin. Please hear that clearly. This is about how can we be our healthiest version of ourselves, right? And then the final piece is going into our mindset. No cloud because it might stop. Well, I'm recording it already if you need it too. So I know. Betty messed up the thing right here. (laughs) All right. We are going to go live into Facebook. Today, we are finishing our conversation of our three-part series on the 100X Life with Edwin Frondozo. Edwin, I'm so excited you're joining us again today. And what we're going to be speaking about today is really looking at your mastermind of the 100X Epic that you are going to be kicking off September the 22nd, 2021. I'm excited to hear all about this. And the reason why I thought this would be perfect as a series on the Body Project podcast is because as you know, I do the 100 day 
protocol where I support busy working women move through fitness, nutrition, mindset so that they can become their best selves. And what I have found is that the time warp of what a hundred day offers is magical, right? And we spoke about on, you know, our episode one about how you came about this hundred day for yourself. And really what was available in episode two, looking at what the 100 day epic was, what you've learned being an entrepreneur, being a tech founder, and how you've supported not only, you know, entrepreneurs and leaders on the business leadership podcast, but how you've really allowed other, you know, people, mentees of yours to move through themselves and their businesses in a really powerful way with 100 days. So I'm excited to have you today to complete the conversation on the 100 day masterclass. Catherine, thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. And truth be told, um, it's really, I'm really grateful for this time. Um, It allows me to think things through out loud into the ether with you, very close friend of mine, and your community. So thank you. Thank you for that. Because things are evolving, things are creating, um, you know, going on a podcast tour to talk about my story. is one thing, but to think about what's the next steps, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of doing things and what has, um, I guess, what has become evident is that I am in the journey of 100Xing. I have the mindset, the belief that it's happening. And as I share my story, it's inspiring that people are gravitating to it and it's just like oh this is cool um you know of course there's still a mindset or a self-worth sometimes it comes up i'm like who do you think you are why are you still doing this um but it's just accountability first off right um Mm. you know going out and talking my truth but realizing that i'm in my truth um to do that so september 22nd 2021 marks the one year anniversary when I mm. embarked on this journey, when I got on the 100X ship, the 100X belief train. I love it. Uh, and as I go through and end this year with reflections, moving forward, being mm. in my journey, adding things to my life and how I do that, um, I'm excited to provide a platform first. Um, for those to support me, for me to share what I'm going through. So I've been doing video vlogs for the most part of the last year, sharing it on different platforms. Um, but one thing that is aspirational for me was, was providing, um, a more, a platform where I could share my written thought as well. Right. So Mm. like a blog, a place, some of my best learnings, um, some of the tools that I'm using because people are like, Edwin, how do you build this out? What do you use your for mind mapping? How do you do these like places where I could share some of my um, learnings publicly, but also a place where I could open up a little more private club, so to speak. So the 100X mm-hmm. club where people who want to support me, want to see me win, want to see me create. Um, because at the end of the day, I, I, relate to being a a creative, an artist, someone who is not only building businesses, but building my ideal life, building things as I grow, write, um, rap. No, I'm just kidding. But maybe a (laughs) a rap song is coming. Um, (laughs) To be released soon. That's right. That's right. So the the first step to answer your question is on the 22nd, I'm looking to launch my 100X, the 100X Life website, Mm. which will include the club, and the home of this ecosystem. Um, I don't want it primarily primarily to share what I'm going through, but also bring together those who are looking to 100x their life, looking to add things to their life, share, build a community. And that's where the club is going to come into place. Not only will I appreciate those who support me, who buy a coffee for me every month because they want to see me win, um, but also a platform that will allow these people to communicate. I'm, I'm looking to create a closed community around uh, within a Discord server. I'm looking to do maybe monthly um, 
mastermind calls for the club. So just a monthly call where we could all get together, um, depending on the specific memberships that we have, uh, which we're going through. Uh, you know, we're going through that right now, you know, having different special offers and maybe even uh, one thing that I've always been thinking about ever since being on Twitch is doing live podcast recording, just like what we're yeah. doing yeah. here. Um, so whether it's for the business leadership podcast for any things, you know, having, you know, telling my guests to say, Hey, by the way, we're going to have a live audience, but it's not public. You know, so right. this is a, a live audience studio, um, you know, giving and having that type of um, space for my guests and also for my community where I would allow if possible to have a Q and a session with my guest. Um, I like it. Yeah, whether they're an author and stuff. So that so that's launch. And the big thing is is eventually it's working towards my hundred my hundred X mastermind where mm. it's a 14 week program where I'll take you from where you are today and how you want to level up and provide support um, personally with me, with other peers, and how we navigate creating this life of accountability a life of 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 your visions and growth so that's that's what i'm excited about i'll stop right there maybe you ask some, some questions yeah and you know just to be, give people context if they didn't tune in episode one and two right edwin is a tech founder of slingshot void so he's had a long runway of being in the industry, in the tech industry. And most recently, when he declared his first 100X, the intention was to not only 100X his life, but to 100X his business. And if you tuned into episode one and two, you'll know a little bit about that journey. But moreover, with his experience as you know, a seasoned podcaster with the Business Life podcast, uh, Leadership Podcast, and also expanding that to... Uh, the most recent podcast that he did, an individual one talking about his 100 life. Edwin is the quintessential poly math, someone who loves, is multi-passionate, but also is hyper-focused, even though he loves so many aspects. And so this is what I love about this master mind that you're putting together. Um, and that now you're going to be taking the mastery that you've created in yourself and your process, like we spoke about, of really looking at silent scribing and speaking like you've been doing with your blogging, um, I think is really, really powerful. And so I would love for you to tell us a little bit about the intention and who this is for, this 100x mastermind. Yeah, I think this intention is for, it, it's funny, before I answer that, um, you know, the marketing world, the society will tell you, you know, you got to pick your persona, you mm. got to pick this and which I do believe I'll probably go to market with a specific persona. Mm. Um, and it, it could be the entrepreneur, it could be the executive that is busy, but also wants to create and do things but feels trapped, but that he they can't do it because of this. Um, but it's, it's someone who is ultimately very curious, someone sitting with a lot of unrest because they have this energy, this, this pent up creativity energy that they want to grow and do, but are scared uh, because they have fear of they have to stay in their lane. You know, it's mm. like stay in your lane, just do this, yeah. don't do that, you're not that. So, my intention is to create that community. Mm. um of support of encouragements because it's you can, it's very hard you can't do it at work you can't do it sometimes even in entrepreneurship circles it's mm. you can't even do it in some of your own entrepreneurship masterminds because your peers are telling you edwin be an expert in one thing stop stop looking to the other side um, so even my good friends will tell me not to, not to do it. So I think my intention is first off to create it. I will likely go out to my initial community that I created, uh, with the TB, TBL, the business leadership podcast, which are entrepreneurs and business leaders. Right. And, mm. and probably go for them on my soft launch, um, for nice. support to get feedback to get thoughts re real quickly um so this if you're in my mailing list or you've been on that you'll probably get the soft launch um i think uh probably the ninth i think 
is what I And have. if they're not yet on your email list and they want to know more about that sphere, how do they access that, Edwin? Well, right now, if you go to the, the 100x.life, you could put in your, your email there. Um, that will be the, the homepage. Um, so there is a capture there in terms of if you are listening to this and you're interested to, to, to learn more as we launch. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's exciting, Catherine. I like, I know I have enough time and enough runway and you know, this running programs as if you have enough time and space, you could actually launch something properly, a proper campaign and, and, um, you know, not just to do it and then say, Hey, I'm launched now. Um, you know, right. we have some friends who did amazing launches when it comes to podcasts. Right. So, mm-hmm. um, this is, you know, at the end of the day, I have, you know, of course, wild dreams of what may or may not happen when it launches, but it's the start, right? If I get one person to, to put down and say, I support you, Edwin. And I, and not only, you know, the verbal support, you know, I heard a podcast, I heard a podcast this week. I'll just share this real quick. There's a million ways to say no. There's only one proper way to say yes is with mm. money. Is with money. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, 100%. so, I mean, it's going to be interesting and it might be humbling actually, Catherine. It might be humbling in the fact that I, I've never done this. And there was a lot of you and I talk about this a lot. There's a lot of mm. self-worth of, of, of identity. Um, yeah. Of course, the humble and the fear is that I put this out there. And no one signs up and no one supports me. And it's, and it's li- literally, it's, it's, it's a, it's a Starbucks coffee. Like, yeah. <laughs> like it's, um, um, so it's, uh, that's, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that feeling, Catherine, but I'm excited still to do it. So to, to, to that point, you know, if I have one person, I, I have a great, I'll start with one and I'll hundred X that I'll hundred X that one person to hundred people and whatever. That's all you need. And, you know, just to speak to that for a moment, I mean, when I started online programs, as you know, I hired Stephanie Joanne, probably Sloan is seven now. So so almost seven years ago, right? To take the program that I did in person online. So I used to have people do my bootcamp classes and only people of like 20 to 30 people. And how would I keep them engaged after doing a six to eight week, you know, run of bootcamp? I would be like, okay, let's sign up for the next challenge. And it would be a 28 day challenge. That's how I got people engaged. And literally I would get six to eight people and then eight to 10 people and then 10 to 12, right? And then when I put it online, I was like shitting myself because I was like, look, how do you make this work in a universe that's so different, Mm -hmm. right? And it really is this beautiful opportunity of guiding people through, right? You are the beacon of knowledge and wisdom to really support people when there is a lot of unknown, especially in entrepreneurship. With me, it's women. How do you optimize your health in a world that you feel like you can never get any time for yourself, right? And then, so I think the beauty is beyond launch is like you said, the accountability, the support, the constant communication, as we know being in the same mastermind entrepreneur circle that, you know, show me the closest five people to you, right? And if those people are going to be in conversation, rising you up, then that translates to you lifting, leveling up in your own life, whether it's fitness, nutrition, mindset, all of it, right? So I think even just being in the conversation and that, I guess, proposal of saying, hey, I'm going to hold your hand for a hundred days, whatever it is that you're taking on. And I, as Edwin is going to, I'm, I'm going to be there to support you, to cheer you on, to guide you is a huge benefit, especially in times of uncertainty right now that we can't have our usual systems in place. I think it's going to be phenomenal. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you for that. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's, a, it's, a- <laughs> I love it. That's why you're my mentor. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And you know, on another note, I mean, in the fitness realm, right? So I, I recently spoke with a couple media stations. And one of the things that's in the forefront these days is body positivity, right? That it's not about weight loss, fitness. And you know, I'm very much in alignment of holistic health, well-being and feeling good. And so the movement is very body positivity. For you, it's almost like polymath positivity, right? How do we, because you're right, the entrepreneur industry, the whole entrepreneur world is very much like there's books written. What was the one Teresa recommended? The power of one or something like that, right? Like focus on one. Don't do many, do one, right? Focus on, what is it called? Focus. I, I, the power of one? Name. 
I have the, the book. Power of One. Yeah. It's right here. Right? I think so it's, it's like, this one right here. <laughs> is it? Yeah, there you go. Right? So you're only supposed to focus on one, the one thing. thing the one thing. Right? Follow one course until success. Johnny Lee Dumas from Entrepreneur on Fire always says that, right? Follow one course until success. What your proposal is very different because you are saying, I know it's possible to do multiple things at once and do them well, right? It's about focus, getting clarity like your system, right? What is your why? What is it the clarity thing? What are the three things that are the top of the list that we're focusing on in the next hundred days? Because it doesn't mean we can't get to the rest, but I need you to get hyper-focused and be a polymath, almost scientist, right? On these three, three things you want to figure out in the next hundred days. And I actually love that system. You know, one of the things that you and I often talk about is that, you know, there's this on the table, but I'm tabling it after this hundred day epic. Tell us a little bit about that, because I think people need to understand what this can move them through if they decide to jump on board with you. Yeah. I mean, it's a great question. and. Being an uber curious person, a polymath, um, one of the challenges we have is, we talked about it, is first off, focus. Sure. Um, everything is a shiny object, right? Um, but I'm also someone who could focus on one thing. Um, I mean, I'm still doing many things, but I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to learn in the next 100 days, right? Or this is what I'm going to commit to this yeah. project, this new project that I committed to, to see where it will go or how it will go, right? So as you commit and create accountability around, let's say I'm going to learn social media, I'm going to learn TikTok for the next 100 days because TikTok is is the still the organic platform. I want to leverage that. I want to get off Facebook. I want to target younger people, right? Like that could be maybe on my next 100 days, right? Um, and maybe that's all I focus on for social media, you know mm. what I mean? Not to say it, it, focus is like what people don't realize. You don't have to do that eight hours for a hundred days. Like I'm saying focus yeah. on mastering TikTok for a hundred days. And I'm going to spend an hour and a half each day on that. And that's it. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. you know how amazing you'll be? hundred percent. Of course. <laughs> like you'll be amazing. Like if you do one post a day for on TikTok for one and a half, uh, for, for 14 weeks, you'll probably have a lot of <laughs> followers, right? And yep. you'll understand how to do it. You'll understand the ecosystem versus like, oh, I don't understand TikTok. It's not doing this, um, but it's this intention. And then when you're in, and one thing that you, what you brought up is like, see another social media comes up, Clubhouse. During that time, you're focusing on it. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to, I'll log in. Oh, this looks amazing, but I, I don't have space to learn another social media at this point. So I'm going to table it for the next Sunday and, and then I'm going to re reassess it before mm. I lock in for my next hundred days. And at that time, I'll know what to do with TikTok. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't need to work on it for five days a week, uh, you know, one hour a week. Maybe I could outsource it. Maybe I could only do it three days a week. And then you create space for Clubhouse, for example. So it's a very social media centric way of thinking of learning new platforms because as an entrepreneur everyone's like you gotta use social media i'm like what does that mean <laughs> like, what does that mean yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. but you know to speak to that you know often people so in the context of my 100 day protocol anyone can do anything for three weeks right whether it's like fitness i'm gonna get my fitness on for three weeks i'm gonna start jogging right I'm going to start cutting out, you know, processed sugar, you know, for three weeks, people can do it, right? People can focus for two to three weeks. And then what traditionally happens, I've been, people fall off, mm -hmm. right? People fall off. And so like to your point, if you actually take the time to like your TikTok example, post something every single day for 14 weeks, guess what? That kind of like, okay, I'm going to do this becomes a habit, becomes mastery. And then all of a sudden you have a million followers or whatever it is, hundred thousand followers on TikTok. And that was, you're like, what? That happened, right? And so I want people to just hear what's available because when you have someone like Edwin as a guide to lead you through his mind, especially the mindset shift of you saying, I'm just going to do this and committing to it. And then you became this conviction of, oh yes, hundred days. It has actually reformed all your businesses it has reformed how you look at life. It has reformed how you take on almost relationships. You're like, yeah, I can commit hundred full tilt for a hundred days for this. Right. And then you shift. Right. And I want people to just 
hear what is available, if you can get over that hump of two to three weeks of, you know, let me try this, right? Because we all want to make a lifelong change, implementation, whatever it is, so that there's consistency, you just can't give up too quickly, right? And this is exactly what's available. Well, and I think that's where the goal setting comes in, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, when you were talking, Catherine, I was thinking about, it's like a math, a mar running a marathon is impossible. But if you commit, if you look at any for you know training plans for a first time on uh, a first time runner, it's fourteen to sixteen weeks. There you go. It's yeah. not, and it's doable. Anyone could go from zero to. Well, I, I wouldn't prescribe it. Hopefully, you had you've ran a half a marathon, <laughs> but um, you know that's still fourteen weeks to sixteen weeks. I mean, yeah. I mean, even even like people who are prize fighters, you know, they're training for twelve to sixteen weeks for a fight. There, you yeah. know. Because it takes not only the habit, but it takes you, I think, Catherine probably knows this, you know this more, is like when you're in top not shape for a, you know, for a tournament or whatnot, it takes like eight weeks and then you're in top form, right? So, yep. um, Well, fitness competitors, yeah. the best runway to get on competition stage is 14 to 16 weeks, 100%, yeah. right? And that is like, you can take somebody who has a significant amount of weight to lose and completely shift them so they're air shredded for competition shape on stage ready, right? So that's interesting. And actually in that context, I'd love for you to, I, I don't think you've run a marathon since you've done your first 100 day. No, no I, I, um, I haven't run anything. <laughs> I mean, I was, yeah. supposed to, I was supposed to run the Toronto Marathon last spring, but COVID happened. So right. I was training yeah, so for it. Well, now you can actually implement your 100 day to train for your marathons. Maybe, right? maybe we're going to have a hundred day mastermind marathon group, virtual marathon. Oh, wait, you know, we're, we're creating products now. Yeah, there you go. Possible. Right. But, but it is, but even that, right. I mean, with people like your business leaders or entrepreneurs that are like, oh my God, I actually need cafe 100 to move me through my goal in the next hundred days, starting in September. You can, they can even tack that on. Yeah. You know what? I want to run a marathon. When was your Berlin marathon that you run to, to, you ran two years ago? Yeah, it was two years. I ran, I wore that shirt when I went running yesterday. It was there uh, you go. end of September, 2019. Right. But I mean, people can always tack on whatever focus they want for themselves in this course of the hundred days. Yeah. yeah no, hundred yeah. percent. So yeah, that was my point. Like you get the, you get the inspiration of what you want to achieve within the hundred days. Right. And then, and don't worry about the how yet. Right. You just want to know what and why, why, why is it significant? Right. Is it, mm. is it towards your, or is it to make money? Like it's, it's getting down to that uh, because the first time I did it, right. When we talked a couple of weeks ago is it was a little audacious, but that's okay. <laughs> like it gets you moving. If you, if, if, if you think you believe you could hundred X in a hundred days, let's, yo, let's, let's, let's see you. Let's go. Um, a hundred percent final words edwin about this hundred day mastermind that's coming up on the hundred x dot life what do you want to share final thoughts around this before we end yeah no i'm excited i, I think this is you know, I've gone through many projects, many excitements, and this thing just feels right, Catherine, in the sense mm. that this is like this is me putting uh, a, a you know a statement in terms of you know I've 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 helped many people in the past and it's not it's not egotistical it's just that I've always been that beacon but I've never had you know I've I've always been an open door for people right um mm -hmm. but now it's like I'm inspiring myself which is actually inspiring other people so this 100x 100x life dot life site will be a testament to what I'm learning. I don't know if I'm going to be front and page on the top, or maybe I'll be at the bottom because at the end of the day, it's for those who all want a hundred X their life to build that hundred X community um, and start the movement, start all of us could, you know, inspire ourselves, inspire our family, inspire our friends. I think ultimately it will be a better, a better world. I completely agree. And that is, you said it so beautifully when you can lead yourself, and become your highest version, it creates a ripple effect, 
right? You are the living example that people get magnetized to and say, hey, what is he doing? I want that, right? And like you said, you know, you've inspired yourself because you became this version of yourself that you didn't realize would be there at the end or in the process, right? And then the, you know, the magic of that unfolding has really created the ripple effect to those around you in your community. So I'm excited for this and, and thank you for sharing. And I think the reason, my intention for, you know, creating a three-part series with you about this is so that people can see themselves in us in the hundred day, right? That especially in the fitness industry, people think often it's about a quick fix, right? Or people get overwhelmed with the longitudinal aspect of like, oh my God, this year, right? But when you can break it down in a bite-sized piece with the hundred day, and I know we spoke about potentially creating another full little scale of how do we interview people that have actually researched a hundred day? Because it makes it palatable. It makes it longer than just 21 days that really doesn't create a really lifestyle. And it makes it like, okay, I'm not having to do this for six months, but if I do a hundred day, then it gives me enough runway to get really great results that then creates the momentum that keeps us going, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm excited. Well, uh, this is, this is, um, this is, this is at the end of the day, Catherine, you know, this is, this is part of my life work and, um, mm-hmm. something I want to share to Jade and, you know, the family, um, this is, uh, it's just, maybe we'll wrap it up in a book. Not maybe it's, ha- it's coming. It's, ha- it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. The next hundred X. Right? Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see how this next one goes. I'm still in this. I still have about, uh, 15 more days of this hundred day epic. So Okay. Uh, what's what's the date? It's the 16th. Yeah, I have exactly yeah. 14 days left. So, so Two weeks. Okay. So we'll, we'll be all watching and waiting. So for all of you that want to find out more, you can go to the 100100x.life to get on that email list, to get some details about the upcoming launch on September 22nd. Edwin Frondozo, it is always a delight to have you. I am grateful. Thank you for having me, Catherine. Thank you, thank you.